Okay, so I went ahead and buttered my bread. Now I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna let one side start to brown first and then I'm gonna put in my cheese and the rest of my ingredients. For this grilled cheese, I'm making a ham, smoked Gouda, and mozzarella grilled cheese. So now my bread is a little crispy. I like to get a little brown on both sides, even the inside, before I put my cheese. So now I'm gonna put in one slice of Gouda cheese. And on top of this, I'm gonna add some mozzarella just a little bit because we're going to put cheese on both pieces of bread once i have my cheese in there i'm going to add my ham and this is just some honey smoked ham i'm going to let that heat up a little bit then i'm going to add the rest of my cheese and my second slice of bread I'm gonna let that bottom side get brown, then I'm gonna throw a lid on top just to make sure everything gets melted completely through because I want all of my cheese melted. I want my ham nice and warm, and I want that other side nice and golden brown so that it matches this top piece of bread. In between making sandwiches, make sure you clean out the burnt bits of cheese or bread that might be in the skillet because you don't want that to burn. It's gonna ruin your sandwich. This next grilled cheese that I'm going to make is going to be a turkey, pepper jack, and grilled onion grilled cheese. So just like the first one, I'm going to brown both sides of my bread. One is going to be a little more brown than the other, and then I'm going to put in my other toppings. last grilled cheese is going to be a classic grilled cheese sandwich and that's just cheddar cheese now all three grilled cheese are done I'm just gonna cut them all in half and if you don't like your grilled cheese this brown and crispy I don't know what to tell you because the more brown and crispy, the better. 